Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another foundation routine. In this video we're going to be talking about some of my absolute favorite products to use when I want a really flawless base and I want it to last very long. Um, a lot of these products are affordable and a few of them are a little more pricey but I give you a nice mix of products and surprisingly like most of my favorites are affordable so if that is something that you are interested in then please keep on watching so if you haven't hit that subscribe button yet I don't know what you're waiting on because like you're missing out on a lot of informative videos and also just fun regular videos but go ahead and hit that subscribe button sometimes you need to or you'll probably need to apply your notification bell as well because sometimes youtube plays you so you might not get notified but if you apply your notification bell you will get notified but the first thing i'm going to do is apply some lip gloss this is the milk makeup kush lip glaze i've been loving this this is this is going to be my third time trying it but yesterday i had it on while i did my entire face and it lasted and my lips are still really moisturized and it made applying lip gloss and also like a liquid lipstick really nice so don't be sleep on this and kush makeup you can get online i think in sephora so like if you have a sephora nearby you can get it there but also online if you can't get it on Sephora in the store, but it's really nice and moisturizing. So to prime my skin, I use two different things. They kind of do the same thing. This is the Touch and Soul Smooth and Pore Covering Top Secret for Perfect Makeup. This is the No Problem Primer. It looks like this. And then I also like the Cover Effects Blurring Primer, which you guys know. If you've been watching for a long time, I love this. So what I do with these two primers, the Cover Effects one goes specifically into my cheek areas like this. Because my cheeks have really large pores. And I like the Touch and Soul one, but I feel like the Cover Effects one like fills in my pores a lot better. And when I like do my pores, I stretch my skin out, so I kind of make like a screen face, like you know the movie Screen, the screen mask. I go like this, and then pat. So instead of put like instead of swiping it, I'm pushing the product in. And then I'll go like this. So I'm really making sure that I work that product into my Porblum <laughs> areas. And then I'll take the um, Porblum primer. This is a little more like like the Maybelline baby skin. That's excuse me. That's kind of what it feels like. So I'll take this everywhere else. It's nice and silky on the skin, and it makes my skin feel really nice. And it also hydrates it because the foundation I'm about to go in with is, it's tight. So my entire base routine is going to be by Morphe. I've just fallen in love with their complexion products. Their foundation, the Fluidity Foundation, is one of my favorite foundations, especially now. And actually, now that I think about it, this entire routine is exactly what I did for my wedding. So here's my wedding makeup routine. Um... This is in 4.110 matte, and I just love it. it. Like, I love the coverage. I love the color. Like, everything. It just looks really good on the skin. And then the secret, in my case, for a flawless foundation is a beauty blender. And when you apply your beauty blender, you want to, or when you're applying your foundation with a beauty blender, you want to make sure that your beauty blender or beauty sponge, because a lot of people like the Real Technique one, is wet so you want to squeeze it underneath of the water so it enlarges and becomes engorged with the water and then you pounce onto your skin so as you can see I'm kind of like patting on my skin you don't want to swipe because you're just taking away the product that you apply you want to pounce and you can apply your foundation with the foundation brush sometimes when I use more serum like foundations which is kind of like the NYX Total Control Drop Foundation, which is one of my favorites, and the Milk Makeup Foundation. Um, those foundations are a little more serum-y, so they're like a little more like watery and silky, less cream um, of a consistency. And I like to use a brush with those, but it's all a personal preference. When I first started going like in with makeup in high school, I used to use um, a brush because sponges just didn't work for me. And you know why they didn't work for me? It was because I did not wet the sponges another thing with sponges is you want to make sure that you clean them 
make sure you clean them. I'm going to try to find the link to the cleanser that I use. It's by a black girl that does YouTube video. I think her name is Jasmine. But this, the stuff is just amazing. It cleanses the sponges way better than the Beauty Blender ones. And the container that it comes with is like twice the size of the Beauty Blender one uh, cleanser. And it's also only like 25 bucks, So it's not like terribly, terribly, terribly expensive. But look at that. Super flawless. Super beautiful. Nice and matte. So the concealer is also the Fluidity Concealer. Now this is a lighter shade of concealer. I usually only do this when I want to be really, really, really like snatched. Um, and I'm going to use the powder, which is the banana powder. Now this is the shade C4.15. And this is a really light concealer. So with their concealers, this shade is the lightest shade that they have, and then they have um, a little more skin tone-like of a color. And I like that color, I just don't know how much I like it for like my snatch days. And when I mean snatch days, I mean like when I really want to be like highlighted and contoured to the gods, I like to do it like that. So. I bring it up the side of my nose just to kind of slim down the nose, just to further contour. Um, I was watching a video with Tati and Scott Barnes, who is JLo's makeup artist, and he had some really nice tips and tricks and things. So, definitely, definitely, definitely will be incorporating those, especially when I do more of a cream highlight and contour, which I don't really do too much, but really good techniques. So I'm just going to pounce this into the skin, make sure I get everything nice and blended out. I want to stretch the skin underneath of my eyes again, making that same like face to make sure that I get right under there where all the creases and crevices lie. So when it comes to powder, you can set it many, many, many ways. Um, I like to bake more so than just set it um, because I feel like it gives a little more of a flawless look in my opinion. But you could just take the powder with the sponge and press it into the skin. That is how Makeup by Mario does Kim Kardashian's makeup. Um, but me personally, like I just like to kind of bake it. You can also take it with a sponge or with a powder brush, kind of something like this, and just set it underneath of the eye and it'll make like, it'll make a really nice um, highlight. But I just like to be a little extra, I suppose, and I like to uh, just let it sit and marinate. Okay, you guys, so now that I've let it bake a little while, I'm going to use my Black Radiance True Complexion Contour Palette just to kind of warm up the skin because when you highlight, it does add a nice dimension to it, but contouring just adds the right amount of shadow or warmth to the face. And I do, or I did rather, use two different contours um, on the day of my wedding. So I first went in with this one, the Black Radiance one, and then I went in with the... Um, with the Becca multitasking powder as well just to deepen it and darken it because this one is more so more, more so like a warming up type of thing than it is like actually contouring so
Okay, so now that our cheeks aren't flushed or have any color to them, I'm going to apply this Cover FX. This is a monochromatic blush duo. So one side of it is matte and one side of it has a shimmer to it and this is in the shade Spiced Cinnamon. So I really like the Spiced Cinnamon because I feel like it gives a lot of color and um, especially when I'm doing a more neutral face, this just really really makes my cheeks pop so and I go in with this Sigma duo fiber brush this is a small duo fiber this is an F55 and I don't really hold back because the duo fiber disperses the color really nicely but you guys know me I like a lot of blush I feel like it just I don't know it just really it transforms my face I don't know I just really like it and if I was feeling frisky, I would go in with the shimmery side, but I only like the matte side, especially since I am going to go in with a highlighter. So, there you have it. For highlighter, I'm going to use the Desi Katie Dose of Colors Highlighter in Minime. I don't know, this is just always my favorite. Like, I use Chasing the Sun, and then I'm like, eh, like, I'm still a Minime girl. Like, I don't know, I just... I just really, really like it. And my skin is looking really dry right now, so I am going to apply some and then I'm going to spray my face because I'm letting my nose contour kind of bake a little bit right now. But I'm using a Stilazzi Stro or a large fluff brush. This is an L224 brush. I really like this brush for highlighting, like way more than the little Morphe one that everybody loves. Like. I love it so much. Then I'm gonna hit the tip. And I actually, on my wedding day, I used the um, Marc Jacobs Remarkable um, or Marc Jacobs Omega Glaze Highlighter in. Um, oh, Oh my gosh, why am I drawing a blank? Anyways, I used the Marc Jacob highlighter. I didn't use this highlighter for the day of my wedding. Um, actually, I think I used this a little over the top, but I used the Marc Jacobs one primarily. So, yeah. So, that's it, you guys. That is pretty much my routine. Um, my last and final step is spraying my face, but... Since I'm not done with the eyes, um, I'm not going to spray my face yet because I don't want to disturb the the concealer that I've already set down. But the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist is my all-time favorite. I will drench myself with this. I love the fine mist that it spits out because I love the Mario Badescu facial sprays. Don't get me wrong. Absolutely love them. But they spit, like sputtle. Like, they have like little sputtles and like little puddles of like setting powder and I don't really get down with that too much so this one really fine it doesn't like mess up your eyeshadow like especially if you're doing matte looks it doesn't add like little flake it just it's just this is just a great one 15 bucks too so not too expensive and then when you order on their website you can use like anybody's code because everybody has a code except for me come on Morphe what are you doing but yeah so that's it I'll come back when everything is complete Okay, you guys, so that completes my go-to flawless makeup routine. Well, pretty much the base routine. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, like I said, I try to keep everything affordable just because, like, it's affordable, like, and I can actually afford it. Um, but it's the same for you. I don't ever want to get to a point where I'm using such high-end products that, like, nobody is able to buy it because... We're all balling on a budget and we're all broke as fuck, you know? So, like, it's just, I try to use products that will make me look beautiful, put together, but are also, like, inexpensive and won't break the bank. So, I hope you guys enjoy. I love you guys so much. If you want to see this makeup look, it'll either be coming soon or it will be at the end of this video if it goes up before. I don't know how I am going to get everything going on in my mind. Before I go, I want to show you guys or tell you guys what the lip is. So the lip liner is actually a new one. If I can find it. Where did I put it? Okay. So the lip liner is a Kiss lip liner. This I actually picked up from the Beauty Supply Store because it got rid of the clean color lip liner. So I was like, I need something. So this is in the shade Chocolate and Kiss does have like a website and everything. I think Kiss is pretty popular, but it's just a Kiss lip liner in the shade Chocolate. And then I put a little bit of this Demi Matte lipstick from CoverGirl. 
it's in the shade trending so i put a little bit of this just as a base and then i was like that's a little too dark i don't like it so i put a little bit of tempting toffee over the top which is really pretty like i really like this so this is what the bulk of this color is and this is a cream so it's a little more moisturizing it's kind of almost like a gloss but it's not. But if you kiss someone or you were to drink or anything like that, it will come off. And when I did this look the first time when I went to my grandma's party, um, this makeup look, not the first time, but the last time I did this makeup look, I used a matte lipstick and it lasted really long and I liked it. But today I decided to switch it up and using Tempting Toffee. So if I were you, this is the go-to combo for this lip. This lip is it's really pretty and I kind of overlined my lip a little bit. I'm loving it. So, hope you guys enjoyed. I love you guys. Don't forget to subscribe before you go, and I'll see you soon. Bye.